What the hell are you doing, man? Don't bother that guy. It was your fault anyway. Come on, get out of here. If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. Yeah, you better run, Kamalop! Kamulop? It's a local mascot they made to improve Kamurocho's image. What the hell is a local mascot? Uh, we're gonna be here all day. Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family. And Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop! You gotta know what happened, being a local reporter. I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a traitor. It wasn't who he was! You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. I'm not a journalist for nothing. So tell me! When did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, the young master. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? Uh-huh. Uh, what do you mean, was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? When? How? Hmm. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt, but... I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. You don't. Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. <sighs> Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. Then you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga! There's nothing left for you in Kamrocho! But... Then where would I go? I mean... I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? Let him try.
なんと強そうだな後悔するなバトルゾーンクーこっちに来てくれ。Pretty good. It works.
It's trashed. Never thought I'd outlive Shangri-La. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? Well, I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again? For real? Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamarocho, and here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war. Some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Well, no one's come near it ever since. And now, it's a den for lowlifes and thugs. Some real messed up dudes living there now. I see. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. It's not the Kamurocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything in this town. That's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. The Kamuro police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga, I've been nothing but honest with you. I tried to tell you before. The Tojo clan you know is gone. The Omi Alliance from Kansai invaded and won. They rule this city now. <sighs> so, do you believe me now? Yes. Then <laughs> we're making good time. Well, you came around faster than I thought. Huh? I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself. Everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. <laughs> and you got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? Well, I didn't guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. Look, man, once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah, then I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so I don't have a lot of chances to get at him. But one chance I do have is if I go through Masumi Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san, is that it? Congrats. You solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? If you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now, hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. 
Well, for your information, tonight Arakawa is bringing Samomi officers to a big meeting with local patriarchs. Really? Not true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. No, it's gonna be a show of arms. For Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Check out that restaurant over there. Heian Tower. Oh, that's... um... Oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. Expensive as hell, though. No, I haven't gone. It's just... Arakawa-san once promised to take me there. To eat Peking duck. Wait, I get it! This is Arakawa-san trying to contact me! Huh? Wait, what are you saying? It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there! At a place that meant something to me and him! Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. There aren't many classy restaurants around here, period. Stands to reason he picked one of the only ones. Hmm. Screw you! It doesn't even matter. What's important is, I can finally talk to him. Okay, first of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now, luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Unless you wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. Okay, what kind of plan? That's a surprise I'll save for later. Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till they show up? No, I'm sure you have shit to do, just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. Here, take this with you. What is this? A smartphone. I assume you've seen one before? Nah. How do you use it? Why do they make phones so damn complicated? You'll figure it out. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. Whatever. Okay, so remember, we're meeting in this part of Theater Square tonight. Till then, keep a low profile, will ya?
this out! Come on now! Battle the song. Yes. Check this out. Come on now. All right. Yeah. Cool. Check this out. Come on now. Son's not even here. And I'm sure this is where we're supposed to meet. You really should just sell that business pronto. Don't be sad. Remember what I said? You deal with business the way you do with fish and women. Catch, then release. Take pride in the catch, but then set them free. Any sporting fisherman could tell you that. Really? You want me back at the office? I hope you're joking. I pay you generously to deal with this nonsense. The whole idea behind bringing you on was so that I could enjoy my nights off. Ciao! Wow. Tip. Hey, sorry to bother you when you're busy. What? You seen a burly looking guy in a blue coat around here? A burly looking guy? Sorry, my friend. Myself, I only pay attention to the ladies. Sure, yes. Why don't you simply call this person? Is his phone dead? Oh, that's right. He gave me a smartphone to call him on. Uh, wait. How do you call someone on this thing? There's no buttons. Oh, a bit behind the times, aren't you? Hey, here, allow me. You'll show me? I'll make you the smartest of smartphone users. Hey, there he is! You're not gonna weasel out of it this time, asshole. Shit! The Omi found me! Huh? Nico got a you cravat wearing fuckwad! What are you gonna do right by us? And who are you, might I ask? You don't remember us? You sold us that shit property! Ah, that Yakuza, weren't you? The one who bought the deed for a most successful girls' bar. 
successful, my ass. It barely makes any money. You need to make this right, you shyster. Ah, oh, now that is strange. It certainly had a high profit margin while I was running it. The joint's in the red every month. Girls keep quitting, not enough customers. I can't even pay the electric bill. <laughs> I dare say you'll have to become better at managing a business. Fuck you say? Uh-uh. This was a crap business when you pawned it off on me. You better buy it back now! <laughs> you are a funny guy. Do you even realize you're mocking the Omi Alliance? Give it a rest, you jerk. Say what? This guy was about to teach me to use a smartphone. I get you got business with the get in line. Did you get in line? Hey, wait just a second. That ugly red suit and that scruffy ass hair. Yeah? Remember what Anaki said? How there was a Tojo loyalist around here? I'm supposed to look just like this guy, down to the moppy hair! Listen, asshole. Enough about my hair! Ah, so you're an aggressive type yourself, huh? Something like that. Why don't you stand back, Mr. What was it? Nick Ogata? This is about to get ugly. I can see that. Will you be fine handling this by yourself? Hell yeah. And you can repay me in smartphone lessons. Sound good? <laughs> Very good. Quit your yapping! And if things get ugly, you got nobody to thank but your own hair! Let's do it! Check this out! Come on now! Cool! Check this out! Come on now! <laughs> that looks painful. So, in all honesty, did you sell them a crappy business or not? I certainly did not. It was raking in millions of yen each month at the time of sale. A wonderful little property. If that's true, why'd you offload it? The riffraff you just beat down were insisting on protection money. <laughs> I didn't want their protection. We were only asking for a measly hundred thou a month, man. It wouldn't even make a dent in what you were pulling in. Yes, I recall it being something like that. So you know what I told them? If you think it's so easy, why don't you try running it? 
And you sold it to him just to make a point? You bet I did. I, I mean, can you believe their arrogance? A measly hundred thou. I have a number of businesses, and yes, they do bring in hundreds of millions of yen per month. But the reason for that is I know the value of money. It's very difficult for a small business to make a hundred thou. Ah, so you wanted them to learn just how much work goes into it. Exactly! And I believe now they have definitely learned. Businesses are like women. You think having one will be so glamorous, but there's some upkeep involved. You need strategy, you need passion, and you need to work your ass off to make her happy. So, are you gonna do what it takes to make that bar successful? Fuck that, I'm done sinking money into that bottomless pit. Fine. I'll buy it back from you. But for half of what you paid me. Fuck you! But fine, take it. I don't care anymore. <sighs> I don't believe I caught your name. Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Ichiban? <laughs> that means number one, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a lot to live up to, but you certainly did that tonight. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. And, uh, speaking of help... Yes. You want to learn how to work a smartphone, correct? <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Let's get to it. Where's your phone? Wow. I actually feel like I can make use of this thing now. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> You're welcome. Mayhaps we should keep in touch. When I meet interesting people, I like to think there's a reason why. We can be pen pals. Ah, uh, if you want. But I got kind of a history, in case you couldn't tell. I got out of prison today. <laughs> that, that sort of thing doesn't bother me. Well, you should probably know. I was charged with murder. Is that so? Oh my, you are interesting. <laughs> and rather blunt, too. You've got more honesty than sense. But I like that. Oh yeah? You might say I associate with people who have, well, all kinds of baggage. Many of them are caring much more than you. No kidding. I'm starting to think you're shadier than the guys I knew in prison. <laughs> Bad news for me if that's what a felon thinks. One point for Mr. Number One. Guess so. Well, see you around, Ichiban. You're not gonna just randomly call me or anything, are you? I just might. You'll find me to be a very persistent man.
Hey there, Kasuga. Who is that guy? Well, my first pen pal, I guess. Huh? Hey, what took you so long anyway, man? You're the one who set this whole thing up. Oh, I was hungry, so I went and got a beef ball. I ordered an extra large one, and Ooh. it was a struggle. <laughs> Guess I'm getting old. Aren't we all? Well, here I am, about to sneak into a high-level Omi meeting. Yeah. Well, hope you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> 